After Adric's death and leaving Tegan at Heathrow, Nyssa began to keep a journal which she entitled Observations and Analysis, a journal. The doctor told her that he would take her to the Great Exhibition as he had originally intended, but they encountered what claimed to be the ghost of Adric and instead went to 1863. She eventually broke down and admitted to the doctor and to herself that, on some level, she blamed him for the deaths of her father, her world and Adric. Prose, Empire of Death. Nyssa and the doctor put Tegan's possessions into storage. Audio, The Elite. Nyssa remained in the TARDIS, mourning Adric whilst the doctor had an adventure at a school. Prose, Long Term. At some point, the two met P.G. Wodehouse. Audio, Autumn. In 1945, Maine, Nyssa and the doctor investigated the phenomenon of the truth-tellers and met Johnny Hefklamern and Nettie Washington, who declined the doctor's offer to join them in the TARDIS. Prose, Tip of the Tongue, in Wales in the 1980s, she suggested that she and the doctor visit Tegan and found herself trapped in Ellen Carter's games. Prose, Past Reckoning, Nyssa and the doctor were rescued from the Ocean of Lethe by the crew of the Lung of Heaven. She was later taken captive aboard the Parliament of Rats before being rescued by the Doctor and Constantine. Prose. The Parliament of Rats, on Earth, Nyssa and the Doctor ran from one of Nicholas Carnan's creatures to his manor, where she cried for the first time since the death of her father and the extinction of her people. Prose. The Eternity Contract. After losing the lottery, Nyssa and the Doctor went to monitoring base XL7 on a planet that the Doctor had once won. They met Sebastian Musgrove who tried to sacrifice them to Telxana. Upon learning that Telxana was dying, the travelers promised to send a survey ship to the base to pick up Sebastian. Prose, Lonely Days, the TARDIS materialized above Alaska in 1964 before almost colliding with a light aircraft, after which it traveled to the same spot in 1994. Nyssa experienced headaches and encountered the Permians, whom she helped kill by burning down the house built by Monica Lewis. Audio. The Land of the Dead. Nyssa was transported to Switzerland by the doctor's spillager detector, where she became embroiled in poltergeist activity at a boarding school. When the doctor arrived, she reluctantly helped him investigate and they discovered spillager scouts using the pupil's psychic abilities to open a gateway for an invasion. Nyssa was forced to use her nascent telepathic powers to close the gateway. Audio. Winter for the adept. Unbeknownst to her, her growing abilities were due to Quindar's manipulations. Audio, Primeval. Whilst Nyssa was repairing the TARDIS, it was thrown into a time corridor to Kansas in 2158 where she met the Daleks for the first time and helped research and avert the mutant phase. She questioned the doctor about why he was able to use time travel to save the Daleks but not to save Adric. Audio, The Mutant Phase. On a mission for the Time Lords, Nyssa and the doctor went to convince Cardinal Zero to rejoin the High Council of Gallifrey. Nyssa interfered in Redclaw's trial and, after being taken before Cardinal Zero, learned from him of the fact that the Doctor was exiled from their planet. Audio. Spring. An attempt by Nyssa to repair the TARDIS's chameleon circuit resulted in the craft turning into a whale, which the pair then had to recover. Audio. The Deep. Having succumbed to Quindar's influence, Nyssa collapsed and was taken by the Doctor to Traken in the primeval times to be cared for. She befriended Sabian whilst she recuperated and was cured as part of a deal between the Doctor and Quindar, who died after he took control of the Source and Nyssa cleansed it of corruption. She elected not to remain on ancient Traken but to continue traveling with the Doctor, her psychic powers once again dormant. Audio, Primeval. The TARDIS landed on Mondas where Nyssa met Yvonne Hartley and helped save her father. She had an affection for the Hartleys and was frustrated when the Doctor told her that they could not interfere in events as they were pivotal to the creation of the Cybermen. Nonetheless, they attempted to improve the future of the Mondasians by pouring wine into the nutrient feed of the Central Committee. Audio, Spare Parts. Nyssa and the Doctor continued their repairs to the TARDIS which proceeded to drift into the Veln system and have an accident with a Katim ship, causing the dystrial poisoning of Veln. Nyssa waited with the TARDIS as the doctor went off to warn the people of the dangers of using Dystriel, but she heard a scream and found Valene's body. She was charged with her murder and was to be executed before she was saved by the doctor, Quain and Forlian. Audio, Creatures of Beauty. Nyssa and the doctor were locked in the Tower of London after the doctor gave her incorrect currency to pay their tavern bill. 
Isaac Newton deduced that they were time travelers and eventually let them go after they told him tales of the future and of his continued legacy, although Nyssa could not understand why the doctor would admire the man. Audio. Summer. Maya gave Nyssa and the doctor an illusionary adventure at the end of which the doctor told Nyssa that he would not be going with her, telling her that she would have to be the doctor from then on. In tears, she returned to the TARDIS and entered the code that the doctor gave her to remove his telepathic link from the TARDIS, which she then learned actually strengthened his connection to the ship and rescued him from Maya. Prose, Confabula. Nyssa took issue with surrender, earthlings, and was appalled when the doctor became addicted to it, later joining with the provisional wing of the National Viewers and Listeners Association to attack the BBC and end the transmission. Meeting up with the doctor, they ensured that the program received zero ratings, defeating the XYZ. Pros. Not so much a program, more a way of life. On Cray, Nyssa found Darzel Carlyle for the doctor and, after learning that he had been taking credit for the doctor's peacekeeping efforts, chose to leave the TARDIS and stay with him in order to help him use his influence to do good. However, following Carlyle's death and the escape of Morian and Faye Davis, she left with the doctor, asking him not to meet Carlyle again until she had left his company. Audio. The Game. Nyssa and the doctor interviewed the team members of the 57th Fraternity Research Station after the appearance of a duplicate of Ian Bird, for whom Nyssa felt sympathetic due to his status as the sole member of his kind. The doctor suggested that he take Nyssa for a holiday after the duplicate killed Stuart Gorey before vanishing, his fate uncertain. Pros. The 57th. The doctor took Nyssa to Saturn where they met Hell and Keat in a cafe. Nyssa went with the couple after the doctor was deported to Titan and was saddened by the Saturnite society, being reminded of her own planet and missing her family. She and the doctor were eventually reunited and left the planet, with Nyssa remaining unaware of why Hell and Keat would accept never meeting their son per the Saturnite customs. Pros, Saturn. Nyssa and the doctor met a tribe of gypsies in 12th century Lebanon and learned of a superstition stating that the dead appeared in the church to those responsible for their deaths. Nyssa and Joanna sneaked into the church, where Nyssa saw an apparition of her father. She and the doctor escaped from the church after the villagers and gypsies set it alight with them inside, believing that they were to blame for the manifestations. Pros. The Church of St. Sebastian. For a holiday, the doctor took Nyssa to Stockbridge where she began writing a novel about Traken. She shared her first kiss with Andrew Whitaker, who took her to Traken Village under the belief that that was where she came from. She contemplated living on Earth after finding that she had fallen in love with Andrew, but she realized that she did not like his lack of regard for consequences and departed, leaving him her completed novel. Audio. Autumn. For a short while, Nyssa undertook a solo expedition to 13th century Rhodes whilst the doctor visited Stockbridge in the 20th century. During that time, she communicated with the doctor across time and space through a pocket interocitor. Due to the Daleks' manipulation of time and space, she and a knight called Mulberry were transported to the middle of the American Civil War. Following her rescue by the Doctor, Audio, Renaissance of the Daleks, the pair visited Vortis where they helped the Menoptera against the Zarbi. Audio, Return to the Web Planet. 